Okay, final, final section is providing feedback on your experiences during the course. There are two mechanisms available for this. One is through the formal university set and set student evaluation of courses, student evaluation of teaching, which gives a formal judgment um, that is used to measure our performance. And I hope you can provide some positive feedback and high rankings or ratings through that mechanism. Now, I recognize though that you may have some critical aspects of the course that you wish to provide. And so that it doesn't have to influence the set and set process, I provided you with an online form, still anonymous, that you can provide any negative feedback and recommendations on how the course can be improved or my teaching can be improved or any other aspects of improvement that you feel is necessary. Now, it's not an opportunity to be cruel, still needs to be respectful. But if you wish to articulate any negative aspects of the course, please do do so through this mechanism. I will take it on board. I do change my practice every year and I try to improve the course every single year as well, based upon students' feedback or on other aspects that I've identified that the course could be improved through. So please provide that. It is um, useful and it is helpful, but please um, do so in a respectful way, nevertheless. And I give you a final um, encouragement to go forward and utilize what you've learnt in researching educational technologies in a way that betters the world. Um, a lot of the big concepts we've explored in this course can help you in your further studies particularly if you go on to study at a PhD level or conduct your own research in your own educational practice or in other ways that you wish to uh, pursue. So I hope you've gained some useful research approaches, particularly around the use of educational technologies. I hope you've learned a bit more about educational technology, but also that you've got some approaches now that you can utilize to explore educational technologies from a research informed way. Now that should help you regardless of how you engage with educational technology into the future. And finally, I'll leave you with a little poem and video clip just to remind you of the context where we need to place all of this. Yes, we should listen to what others think and learn from others. That's what this course is about. But you are also empowered for your own creative thought processes, your own ways of doing things. And they may, may be completely different to how others do things. And we should never lose sight of our own capacity to engage with research, with our own explorations of the world, with our own exploration of educational technologies. And I look forward to hearing from you in the future about your own successes in how you've engaged with what you've learned in this course. All the very best.